So there is a free and open source Windows app that installs Linux on your PC. Yeah, uh, it's called Linux Gate. It's available uh, at GitHub. It's free and open source. A modern user-friendly Windows application that simplifies the process of dual booting Linux alongside Windows. With this, installing Linux on your PC becomes so easy. Okay, you don't have to do much or you don't have to be super smart to install Linux on your system. Yeah, it will do a dual boot. And this thing is like in beta. It was released last week. So I'm excited to try this out. I have actually tried this once. I'll give you guys my opinion later on this video. So yeah, let's try this out live. So to download this, we can go to the official GitHub page and then go to releases. Again, this is the first release and it's still in beta. So it's a zip file. Let's download it and uh, let's unzip it. Now here is our Windows app called linuxgate.exe. So we're just gonna double click to run it. Let's allow through the smart screen and uh, we need to run this as an administrator. So it's asking for that. Welcome to Linux Gate. Let's click on get started. Now here, choose your flavor of Linux. Right now, as of making this video, there is only one Linux distro that you can choose. That's the Linux Mint. I think it's a pretty good Linux distro for beginners. So in future, I'm pretty sure there will be more distros uh, to choose from. And this thing again is in beta. So there are some bugs here and there. So as I'm exploring this, I'll talk about the bugs or the limitations of this app. So first of all, this is not a bug, just a limitation for now because it's in beta that you only have one distro to choose. And this Linux distro is made for Windows users. It works and looks like Windows. So we're gonna choose that because that's the only option we have right now. So let's click next. And now in this section, we can partition our Windows disk and make room for Linux. It will automatically suggest some amount, but you can go up and down like this. You can use the slider and give Linux whatever amount of storage you want to give. Now, one thing that I have noticed with this when I was testing this, it doesn't recognize the secondary disk if you have one. So let's say you don't want to partition the C drive. You want to install it on the secondary drive. So for now, it doesn't support that. It doesn't recognize the secondary drive. So you're stuck with using the C drives. So you have to make sure that you have enough storage on your C drive. If you don't, then it will give you this warning. Now, after selecting how much storage we want to give, we're gonna go and click on next. I'm gonna give it like 100 gigabytes. Okay, so let's click next. Now we have to create a Linux account. Yes, within this application. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's put the password and I'm gonna keep the username as KB and you can also give the computer name. I'm gonna call it Penguin. Why not? It looks cool. Okay, and let's go next. Now again, this app is in early development. It's still in beta. So use it at your own risk or use it on a spare PC if you have one, okay? Or you can also use it on virtual machine. You're about to make significant changes to your disk partitions. This operation will modify your hard drive and install dual boot system alongside Windows. Data loss if operation fails or is interrupted. Potential corruption of existing Windows installation. Your computer may not boot. If something goes wrong, this operation cannot be undone easily. So it's recommended to back up your important things on your PC and then proceed. Again, if possible, try it on a spare laptop or desktop okay or in virtual machine if you just want to know how this thing works so i'm gonna click on i understand now it's just gonna do its job okay and uh, you can see it's shrinking windows partition i think it's making the boot partition to two megabytes of boot partition now creating fat32 boot partition and uh, it created where is it this pc and here you can see linux gate two gigabytes of boot partition now it's gonna download the uh, actual linux distro we selected the linux mint because that's the only option we have right now because it's again in beta so in future i'm pretty sure there will be more 
uh, Linux distros to choose from. Now, one really important thing I forgot to mention that right now this app only works in BIOS, legacy boot. It doesn't work with the UEFI. I have tested this and I have failed. Do not try it on UEFI system. They also mention here, so you can see, it works only in BIOS mode. Okay, UEFI mode has not been tested and may not work correctly. So again, do not try on UEFI, okay? Not production ready, so it's still in development, okay? So it's not uh, stable, so things can go wrong. So try it on a test machine or a spare machine if you have. And always back up your things when you're doing dual boot. Rest is just easy, okay? If you actually want to, uh, you know, dual boot Linux and Windows, you have to create a bootable USB drive, then you have to uh, do some things in the BIOS. This thing just does everything from this Windows application. So it says partition complete. Now we just need to reboot our system. Now it's going to restart our PC. This thing is here. Okay. Oh no, I chose Windows 11 by accident. No, is this gonna break something? No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, it's here, it's here. Okay, we didn't broke anything. I think now we click on install Linux, okay, where it says choose uh, an operating system. Or maybe we broke Windows, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's click on install Linux and let's see what happens. Please just work. Oh yeah, 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 it's working. <laughs> and I don't know how, they managed to put Linux into the Windows bootloader. Maybe after Linux is installed, we'll have the uh, Linux bootloader default. From there, we can choose either to boot from Windows or Linux. It's downloading something and it's, oh, okay. It took almost like, oh, wait, Linux Mint. I think we have to click on the top one. Okay, so we're gonna go there, click. Linux Mint, click again, and I think it's done installing. Or maybe we have to go through the setup. No, look at that. That's Linux Mint. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Our password, enter that. You know, remember earlier we created on the uh, Linux Gate app? Yeah, kaboom, it's installed. <laughs> Is it? Or we have to do something here. I think it's installed. But we have CD-ROM at the top. I don't know what that thing does. Uh, actually, let's click on CD-ROM, set up EXE. Oh, it's it's from the Windows. Okay, it's a Windows ISO file. Okay, it's it's picking up the Windows uh, CD-ROM. It's not this one, okay? And we also have the uh, Windows partition here, 164 gigabyte volume. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Windows partition also shows up here. Now, the thing is, if I reboot my system, will my Windows still boot? Rest, let's restart. No, yeah, 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 look at that. Okay, we have a Linux Mint at the top and uh, the Windows 11 at the bottom. Okay, so let's boot on Windows 11. It works. It literally took five minutes to dual boot Linux. Wow, this is actually amazing. Yeah, I think we have to click on the Windows 11 twice. Yeah, okay. We are good, we are good. And look at that, okay? I don't think Linux partition sh uh, shows up in here. Yeah, it doesn't, because Linux has different partition style. So if we go into disk management here, we have 102 gigabytes of partition. Yeah, this is the Linux partition. Now let's go back to Linux actually. If we restart, we should see the Linux bootloader and we should be able to select the Linux Mint there, right? Yeah. The Windows bootloader is just hidden right now. Okay, so let's select the Linux Mint here. Wow, I'm surprised. On virtual machine, I'm on virtual machine, okay? It took around five minutes to install. Now imagine doing this on a actual hardware. It will be much faster. Maybe two or three minutes, you'll have Linux on your system. And let's actually change the display settings and make it bigger. Why not? Let's go 1080p, apply. So this is a full-fledged Linux running alongside Windows. And it took only like five minutes to do that. This is, again, actually amazing. If you wanna try out Linux on a actual hardware without deleting Windows, you know, just 
do the dual boot. I can't wait for the uh, stable release of Linux Gate app. You know, I want to try out more Linux distros. Let's go to disk management and then uh, let's uh, delete the Linux partition. Okay, so I'm going to delete volume. Now, I'm pretty sure the Linux partition is gone, but the bootloader, where is the bootloader? That's the biggest question. Is it in system reserved or was that in the same volume? If it was on the same volume where the Linux was installed, then it's even better. Okay, because this is the simplest way to remove Linux from dual port. Okay, but if it's merged with the Windows bootloader partition, then you'll have to use command prompt and some commands to actually remove it completely. The partition is gone. Now we can right click extend the volume and make our C drive normal again, actually give all the, you know, gigabytes or storage to the C drive. Okay, now what happens if we restart? I think Linux is actually to, truly gone. The Linux bootloader shouldn't show up here. Let's see. It should just go straight to the Windows boot, bootloader. No grub error. Uh, yeah, that's that's an issue. Grub still stays there. This is kind of sad. Since this is a virtual machine, I think I can still figure out a way to fix this, but there are a couple of ways you can fix this. You can go to the BIOS settings and change the boot order and select the Windows bootloader at the top and it will just boot the Windows. Once you are in the Windows, you can use the command prompt to actually get rid of the uh, grub, the Linux bootloader. And I think this is a amazing application for the people who wants to try Linux on a actual hardware by dual booting Linux and Windows. And they can truly compare, uh, you know, Windows and Linux together and just taste the Linux whether they like it or not. Right now, there is a trend going on. It's maybe not that big trend. Uh, it's like, you know, people are switching to Linux and there are a bunch of Linux videos uh, talking about their switching to Linux and all that. So this is a cool app that will help you decide whether you want to stay on Windows or want to switch to Linux, you know, without deleting Windows. It's like super like easy, very user friendly Windows app for that <laughs> okay uh yeah that's that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye